Hi. Right, I thought I'd do a follow-up to my um, exporting uh, movies in 1080p format in iMovie. Um, because on YouTube I noticed that the visits have crashed. Um, it used to get sort of 40 or 50 views a day and it's down to below 10 now. And it suddenly occurred to me that, um, of course, people are now moving to 4K. So how can we use iMovie to export 4K video? Um, so I thought I'd just run through it, how it works again. Just get rid of that. And show you how you can export, um, say, if you shoot in 720, you can still use iMovie to export it as 4K, although it doesn't look great. <laughs> OK, well, here I've got um, three clips. I shall just get rid of that one. Delete that. I've got three clips here of my garden. OK, one's in 4K, one is in 1080p, and one is in 720p. Um, and I must admit, when I was doing this movie, I suddenly realised the only thing I've got that's capable of doing 4K is my little Git 2 uh, dash cam, and even that's interpolated 4K, so it's not true 4K, this it is interpolated 4K, but the principle's the same. OK, so if you want to export 4K, um, the best thing to do is shoot in 4K, basically, because... Uh, what you put in, you can get out. So here's my 4K clip. I'll drag that down to the timeline. And if I go to export up there, um, it gives me the option of 4K. OK, so we'll delete that off the timeline. Here's my 1080p clip. Drag it down to the timeline. Same process, file. Export and it only gives you 1080p 60, a shot at 1080p 60. You, there's no 4K option. Okay, and likewise with 720p footage, if you go to File Export, you just get 720p at 60, and the 1080p at 60, or whatever you shot it at is greyed out, um, so you can't select that. That's fine. Now, it all depends on what you load into this timeline first. So you, it can go both ways. Now, if I had several clips, if I was making a movie and I, was, I had several clips from, say, several different cameras or something like that from a friend's camera that wasn't the same res, you can actually mess it up. So say the friend shot in 4K and you shot in... 1080 and you wanted to output the whole thing in 4k if you lose um, if you add your output first which is the 1080p output that's 1080p clip I'll then add my for uh, the 4k footage from the friend if you go to file export now you only get 1080p okay cancel that out, delete that off. Now if I do it the other way around, if I load the 4K footage first and then the 1080p footage, it will allow me to export as 4K. Okay, so say I had um, I want this 1080p footage to export as 4K, but I just want the 1080p footage. What I could do would be load the 4K footage, load the 1080p footage, delete off the 4K, so this is just 1080p footage left, and if you go to File, Export Now, you still got the 4K option. You can export this 1080p footage as 4K because you've loaded the 4K footage first, even though you've deleted it off. So likewise, you could do the same with um, 720p footage. So you can output 720p footage as 4K by loading 
some 4K footage first. So there's my 4K footage. There's my 720p footage. Delete off the 4K. And there you go. You can export your 720p footage as 4K. So it entirely depends on what you load down here first. Okay, now I've just prepared a 720p footage. I exported a little bit of 720p footage as 4K. And we'll just have a quick look at it because it isn't great. Um, which is why I say you're much better off shooting um, in the resolution that you want to output. So this is 720p exported from iMovie at 4K. Uh, let's just expand that full screen. Okay, and I'm not sure how it's going to come across on YouTube because YouTube degrades the video anyway. But as you can see, it's really jerky, it's really pixelated. It's not good. In fact, it's awful. Can you see it jerking, juddering? See, again, the best solution is to shoot in what you want to export. But if you absolutely have to, you can export in higher reses in iMovie. Um, and as I say, the most likely scenario for that is when you're making a movie out of mixed footage from different devices. Um, if you load the highest resolution footage first, the rest of the, move, the iMovie will export eventually as that resolution. Um, I hope that explains it. <laughs> it can be clear as mud. I mean, I remember when I first set out, um, you know, all this resolution stuff really confused me. But there's a demonstration. If you watch this once or twice, you should see um, how you can use clips to export iMovie at um, the highest resolution possible. OK, well, thanks very much indeed for listening or watching, I mean. Thank you.